Hey everybody, Sean Zinsmeister from the Google Cloud Data and Analytics product team. And today I wanted to show you some of the latest preview of BigQuery using our data canvas. This is gonna combine the best of Gemini in BigQuery as well as Looker Studio to allow me to perform very fluid and collaborative data exploration within BigQuery using a new collaborative canvas, which we call Data Canvas. So let's take a look. I start here in my BigQuery Studio homepage, and I'm going to select Data Canvas. And I'm going to, be able to build just a sample use case, combining some user and orders table to do some analysis on the fly. What you're going to find is that Data Canvas lets me use the flexibility of natural language, but also building a collaborative canvas to allow me to bring others in and really query off of any node. It's really meant for that full flexibility. All right, so let's dive into it. So let's start by find users. Let's start by finding the users table. And so it's actually going to let me get right to the users table that I want. I want this materialized users for the sake of my example. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my canvas. The other thing I need is I want to join this with another table that's not on the canvas yet. So I'm going to actually perform another search function. In this case, just find orders table. That way we have the pair that we want to work with here. There it is. I'm going to add that to the canvas. And now you can see here they are nice and neat side by side. OK, now I can do a few things when I hover over each of the different modules here. I can either query off of what I have here, or I can join this. Um, and it really lets me go in a variety of different directions. In this case, I want to join with the table here that's already on the canvas. So you're going to see it already pre-writes because it knows I want to do a join. It's going to pre-write some of the SQL here. And actually, in this case, I want to create a left join on the user ID. So I can use Gemini and BigQuery for this really easy natural language to SQL. I can check the SQL here. So this is only giving me some limited information. So I'm also going to say and keep user and order information. So we really can perform some interesting analysis and give myself lots of flexibility. So go ahead and modify the natural language statement. And here we go. I have a lot more information to work on. All right, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And what you will see is the results will pop up below. There they are. OK, and now I can do uh, a few different things with this. So I can query these results. I can start to visualize this. I can join. Um, and in this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and query these results. So in this case, quick natural language query here, say total orders per country. I want to see what the order count is and which is our leading country here. So again, allow Gemini and BigQuery to create this natural language statement. Very quick creation of SQL below. Great, I can check that. That looks pretty good. And again, I love this zoomed in view at the top. So as I continue to build these branches, it's kind of keeping the flow of the training logic that's going on in my head. It's great for data exploration if you are a Analyst, it's really easy for me to go find my spot and double back to something that I might think about later. But let's continue here. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. OK, so here are my results. And now I've got some other options here. You'd notice I can save the results. Um, I can explore this. I can push this to a sheet or Looker Studio, which I'll show you uh, in just a few, where you can kind of go to a more expanded and flexible canvas if you need to do some uh, dashboard design. Uh, in this case, I can also visualize on the fly. And so I actually want to make this a bar chart. So in this case, I want to adjust the bar chart slightly. So in this case, let's actually go ahead and create a horizontal bar chart and color the bars. And I actually have a hex code that I want to use. There we go. So apply that natural language statement. There you go, and adjust the chart. So really easy again for me to be able uh, to kind of modify quick visualizations, very quick 
prototyping uh, so I can get an idea. Visualize my model. This is always great in addition uh, to SQL workflows. All right, so you can see again, I've got my kind of little mini map here that I can use. I can even zoom out on the canvas. Um, it's really easy to also share this with other people and manage permissions to bring others into my mind map that I've created with my exploration. Um, but what I love is the flexibility that I can return to the original query here. I'm not stuck, right? There's no um, stopping sort of the curiosity here or the flow. And so I can actually build a query off of this. And we'll zoom in a little bit so you can get an idea of this. And in this case, maybe I'm looking for a distinct order count uh, based on the original orders table. So I'll go ahead and create that. It's really great. I can always return to sort of those, those branches. Okay, again, like this gives me a quick check. I'm happy with that. I can go ahead and run that. And again, I can actually go ahead and then visualize this and say we want to see this as a line chart. Awesome. And maybe we'll also say make the line color. Get it in line with my other visualization just to make sure everything's uniform. Okay, there we go. Even down below, there's a summary of analysis too that the LLM is generating. So on the fly, I can get a quick idea uh, of some of the calculations that's happening, some insights that I might want to pull um, from some of these visualizations. This one's pretty simple, um, but you can see how this would be super useful for, again, getting that on the fly kind of analysis. So now we might be ready to actually start doing some dashboard designing and wanting to combine with other data sets. And you might want to do this within Looker Studio. So I can take this analysis and actually push it to my Studio Canvas to start to work with it there. And what you'll see is that it retains you know, all of my, my hex colors and things like that. So I can, of course, adjust this on the fly uh, if I want as well. Um, but even more powerful is that I can even start to combine this data uh, with some of my governed LookML models that I've created as well. So in this case, we're going to bring in one of our demo models here that we've created. This is modeled governed data. So make sure I'm kind of adding trusted metrics to my dashboard design. So I can go here. It'll appear right here. I'll close this so you can really get a full view. And now we can start to bring um, some other interesting charts and visuals into play from my governed data. So in this case, maybe I want to look at uh, traffic source. And maybe we'll just add user count. Can see that it's interesting starting to build this story. Can adjust from tons of visualizations that I have on the fly. So I'll make this one a table with bars. And I might even want to see my added product category. So we get some sales information in here as well, just to complete the story. And really quickly for me to find those metrics here. Great, maybe we'll make this one a heat map as well. There you go. Now I can actually start to customize this further. I can bring in my, my logo and I can you know, extract a theme from it as well um, and, and so forth and so on. All the great kind of design functionality that you expect um, from Looker Studio. So that's a quick example of how you can really go very quickly from Data Canvas in BigQuery using Gemini in BigQuery and a collaborative data canvas, full freeform data exploration to then doing some designing of your dashboard in Looker Studio as well. So thanks for listening and let us know what you think.